Hi lovelies! As we know, Thanksgiving is the most delicious day of the year. All week long, I'm sharing some really simple, classic recipes that are perfect for Thanksgiving dinner. Of course, it is always appropriate to kick things off with a delicious pumpkin pie. I am a huge pumpkin pie fan. I take it very, very seriously. Now, historically, I have made this pie using a ginger snap crust, and that is pretty delicious. So I've left that as an option in the description box below if you wanna take a look at that. But in this case, I'm actually using just a store-bought pie crust that I've pressed into a pie tin to save some effort because, of course, we're making an entire Thanksgiving dinner and it is a lot of work. Once your pie crust is ready, it's time to get started on your filling. So I'm starting with three eggs in my bowl and I'm just gonna give those a good whisk. Next, I'm going to whisk in some evaporated milk. This can usually be found in the baking aisle of your supermarket. I'm also going to add some brown sugar because of course, brown sugar makes everything better, especially when it comes to baking. I'm also going to add some pumpkin puree and some apple butter. Now, apple butter can be a little tricky to find. I usually find it in the jam section at my supermarket. If you can't find apple butter, do not sweat it. Just add twice as much pumpkin puree. We're gonna finish this mixture off with a splash of vanilla extract, a little sprinkle of salt, and a whole lot of pumpkin pie spice. This can be found at your supermarket, or if you are feeling ambitious, go ahead and mix up your own. You can watch this link to find a tasty recipe, or I've listed it in the description box below. Both totally work. We're gonna mix all of that yumminess up until it's nice and smooth and velvety, and then we are going to pour this mixture into our pie crust and into the oven. That beauty goes at 375 degrees for about an hour. When it's ready, it looks a little something like this. Totally delicious, totally ready to be enjoyed with a whole lot of homemade whipped cream. I hope you'll give this awesomeness a try and if you do, you must tweet me, Instagram me or Snapchat me a photo because of course I love seeing your creations. If you're looking for more great advice on how to orchestrate the perfect Thanksgiving dinner so that everything is scheduled down to the minute, you should check out my Thanksgiving dinner countdown. It is super, super helpful. You should also check out all of the rest of the yummy videos in this playlist. They're all classic and easy and foolproof and delicious. And most importantly, you should subscribe because there is lots more Thanksgiving yumminess where this came from.